my dear students today we are going to solve few question based on the hirons and brahmagupta formulas and breech snider's formula to pehla question dikhte hai yahan par uh, the sides of a triangular park are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4 and its perimeter is given as 108 meter then find the area of the park and the second question is isi questions ke sath second part jo hai also find the length of the perpendicular to the longest side from the opposite vertex to opposite vertex se longest side ke upar length of the perpendicular bhi calculate karna hai to sabse pehle ek rough diagram ek sketch draw kar lete hain to maan lete ye hai triangular park iska jo length hai wo ratio given hai length ka to ye ratio dekhte hain रेशियो है टू इज टू थ्री इज टू फोर पे टू इज टू थ्री इज टू फोर तो लेट द लेंथ ऑफ द साइड्स लेट द लेंथ ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल बी टू एक्स थ्री एक्स एंड फोर एक्स ये मेरा साइड का लेंथ है तो ये वाला साइड फोर एक्स मीटर ये वाला साइड को ले लेते हैं थ्री एक्स मीटर और ये वाले को टू एक्स मीटर तो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल तो ये हो जाएगा 4x एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स एंड प्लस टू एक्स तो फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन सेवन प्लस टू एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइन एक्स तो इसका पेरीमीटर कितना आ जाएगा नाइन एक्स ओके ना अच्छा अगेन इन द क्वेश्चन पेरीमीटर इज गिवेन वन जीरो एट तो दे आर फोर अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन ए Now this perimeter 9x should be given as 108. So therefore x equal to 12. 108 dividing by 9, we have 12. Okay now. Therefore this length, green length, will be 4 into 12. That is 48. Now this length will be 36, and this length will be 2 into 12. That is 24. Okay now. Now we have all the three sides length and we have the perimeter also so now we are going to calculate for the hirons formula we required a small s that is semi perimeter to so perimeter by 2 that means 108 by 2 so it will be 54 it will be 54 so therefore area area of this triangle is equal to according to the hirons formula it will be s multiply s minus a multiply s minus b multiply s minus c now what is our s value s value is given as uh, semi perimeter is 54 so 54 into 54 minus 48 then 54 minus second side that is 36 and 54 minus third side c which is equal to 24 so now do the subtractions so we have 54 multiply with 54 minus 48 that is 6 then 18 and then 54 minus 24 we have 30 now this 54 we can write as 6 into 9 1 6 is there now 18 we can write as 9 into 2 and this 30 we can write as 2 into 15 so here we get the pair of the numbers 2 9 are present it is 9 so 1 9 we can take outside of the roots so it will be 9 into 2 6 are present here so 1 6 will be outside now 2 2 are present here so 1 2 will be outside and 9 we have already taken so this will be and there is no pair of 15 so now we can write this one 6 into 9 54 and then 2 108 root over of 15 so this is the area of the triangle this is the area of the triangle that we want to calculate now what they are asking second part of the question is find the area of the park uh, we have calculated also find the length of the perpendicular to the longest side so we have to draw one perpendicular to the longest side from the opposite vertex so this will be the perpendicular now this length we want to calculate so this area 
the area of this triangle we can also write as half into base that is 48 into this height h and this is nothing but equal to the area that we have calculated as 108 root over of 15 so from here we can calculate h is equal to now these two give you 24 so 108 root over of 15 and then dividing by 24 so we can cancel out by 4 so it will be 6 and 4 to the 8 then 2 7 4 7 the then 3 to the and 3 9 so we have here 9 root over 15 by 2 so this will be the length of the perpendicular uh, to the longest side from the opposite vertex so 9 root over 15 by 2 hope all of you understand this problem if you have any doubt you can ask me now next is another questions we are going to solve <coughs> now these questions here you notice that c square is equal to a square plus b square where you have a triangle uh, whose length are a b and c side lengths are given so first of all we try to draw the triangle okay now <coughs> first of all we try to draw the triangles Achha, here the equation here the equation implies that whatever the triangle we have this triangle must be this triangle must be a right angle triangle okay now because c square equal to a square plus b square is it okay so if this side is c and this side is a and this side is b then according to the pythagoras theorem so this imply the pythagoras theorem from the <coughs> pythagoras theorem we have this angle is 90 degree and c will be the hypotenuse so now we can easily calculate the area of the triangles is equal to half into base and into height so therefore two times of delta it will be a into b so if i am uh, doing the square i have four times of delta square which is nothing but a square b square i call it is one now from the Heron's formula by Heron's we can also calculate the area of this triangle and this will be nothing but root over of s into s minus a into s minus b and into s minus c so here you notice that this quantity is free from the radical sign so if i am doing the square it will be delta square now the radical sign is removed so we have s into s minus a s minus b and s minus c if i multiply both side by 4 so i have this type of expression okay now so this expression is given in the quotient and whose value is nothing but 4 delta square so from 1 and 2 if i combine i can write both are left hand side is same 4 delta square 4 delta square so this quantity right hand side 4 times of s s minus a s minus b and s minus c this must be equal to a square plus b square so according to the options you notice that our options is d for daily daily is the correct options hope all of you understand this concept now we are trying to solve little bit tricky questions but very easy one the area of a quadrilateral is given a b c d with the sides length a b c and d given by this formula so this formula is a very well known formula and this is called breach schneider formula we have already discussed this formula in the theory classes so breach schneider's formula b s f i can write breach schneider's formula so this is equal to this one s minus a then we have s minus b then we have s minus c and s minus d where a b c d are the length of the non cyclic quadrilaterals and a b c d cos square theta and here 2 theta 2 theta is the sum of the sum of the opposite angles of the quadrilateral sum of the opposite angles sum of the opposite angles of the quadrilateral of the quadrilateral okay now 
तो कॉर्डिलेटरल का जो ऑपोजिट एंगल है उनका सम जो है टू एस होता है नाउ हियर टू एस इज द पेरीमीटर टू एस इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द कॉर्डिलेटरल अच्छा नाउ द एरिया ऑफ द कॉर्डिलेटरल सर्कल स्क्राइबिंग अ सर्कल इफ दिस सर्कल if this circle uh, if this quadrilateral circumscribing a circle that means if you have one circle like uh, this one if you have a circle like this one and this quadrilateral circumscribe this one so that means you have one quadrilateral like this okay now so now this is the quadrilateral that is circumscribing uh, this one circle one circle then what will be the area of this quadrilateral we have to calculate okay now so now here you have to erase this part is not required this extended line segment you can erase here also this ex extended line segment not required okay now so now this this portion is not required so in this situations uh, suppose this point is the point of tangency here point of tangency this point is the point of tangency so now length of this side is a length of this side is b length of this one is c and length of this one is d so now from here to this uh, this length from this uh, if you give the name a b c d a b c and d and here the point of tangency if i call e f and here the point of uh, tangency g and here if i am calling h so e e to b if i say x then b to f is also x because from the outsider point if you draw the tangents then the length of the two tangents must be same so here similar way similar argument if this length is y this is also y if this length is z then this is also z uh, if this length is t then this is also t so now what result i have here first of all this length a first of all the length a i can write as a e plus e b that means nothing but t plus x now if you take b length to so b will be uh, x plus and y x plus y if you take c length to so c length will be z plus and y if you take uh, d length then this d length will be z plus and t number 1 acha now here also we notice that the 2s is nothing but perimeter a plus b plus c plus d so here if i uh, take the value of a it is t plus x value of b x plus y value of c z plus y and value of d you can notice that z plus t so two times every quantity present so you can take two outside it will be x plus y plus z and plus so now this is nothing but 2s if you cancel out 2 from both side so s will be x plus y plus z and plus t this is the value of x now we also calculate this one what is the uh, length of length of s minus a so if i am going to calculate s minus a so s value is x plus y plus z and plus t minus a value t minus x so i have x and t cancel out x and t cancel out so i have y plus z but y plus z value is c now if you take s minus b so s value x plus y plus z plus t and b value is x and y x plus y so if you cancel out you get z plus t and z plus t value is nothing but d if you write s minus c so s value is x plus y plus of z and t then minus c value c value is nothing but z and y so if you cancel out z and y so you will get x plus and t and x plus t is nothing but your a value so x plus t i have here a value x plus t a value now s minus d if i am calculating it is x plus y plus of z plus of t and d value is z plus t so z and t cancel out so you have x plus y which is nothing but b so now coming to the our formula that is schneider's formula b bridge schneider's formula says that area of the triangle is s minus a which is c 
s minus b which is d s minus uh, c which is a and s minus d which is b then minus a b c d cos square of theta so if you take a b c d outside a b c d outside so you get 1 minus cos square of theta but according to the identity we know that 1 minus cos square theta is nothing but sine square theta so now if you take the square root it will be a b c d and then it's a square root and then you have mod of sine theta since here theta lying between 0 to pi so therefore mod of sine theta is always positive so when the mod open you have to take only positive sign so this will be the our answer so now according to the options according to the option calcutta is the correct one calcutta is the correct one okay now so now we are going for the another questions Achha, now here one question is given we are going to solve this one so first of all the question is what find the area of the quadrilateral whose sides are given find the area of the quadrilateral whose sides are given 5 2 uh, 3 and 2 again taken in order and any two opposite angles are 60 degree and uh, 80 degree 60 degree and 80 degree okay now i think there is some slightly uh, 80 and 60 now so I think the angle is not given in a proper way question is slightly mistakes so this is 50 degree given in the question and this is given as 70 degree okay now okay so now the questions again I read the question find the area of the quadrilateral whose sides are 5 2 3 and 2 centimeter taken in order and any two opposite angles and any two opposite angles are 50 degree and 70 degree 50 degree and 70 degree so first of all we try to draw the quadrilateral first of all we try to draw the quadrilateral randomly i just drawing okay now so now uh, I am taking the side in this way. This is my 5 cm, 2 cm, 3 cm and again 2 cm. So opposite angles I am taking in this way. This is 50 degree and this one is the 70 degree. So here the sum of the angles we can easily calculate. So 2 theta is nothing but uh, 120 degree. 50 plus 70 you can write in this way. Uh, 50 plus 50 degree plus 70 degree. So this will be 120 degree. So this will imply theta should be 60 degree. Okay now. So now I am going to apply Breach Snyder's formula. Breach Snyder's formula, which is equal to root over of s minus a, then s minus b, s minus c, and s minus d, and then minus a b c d and then cos square of theta ok now so here s is the perimeter so first of all we calculate the perimeter here p is equal to 5 plus 2 semi perimeter s is the semi perimeter so 5 plus 2 uh, plus 3 plus again 2 then dividing by 2 so what we have 12 by 2 that means we have 6 here so semi perimeter we have calculated at 6 here so now we are going to put the values so we have 6 minus a then I have 6 minus 2 then I have 6 minus 3 then I have 6 minus 2 and then I have product of all these uh, sides length 5 2 3 and 2 then I have cos square cos square theta theta is my 60 degree value so now what I have here 6 minus 5 1 6 minus 2 4 6 minus 3 3 then again 6 minus 2 4 now here uh, 5 into 2 10 and this 60 yes and cos square 60 degree cos 60 is nothing but 1 by 2 so it is 1 by 4 so here I have root over of 48 and here I have 15 
तो नाउ माय आंसर इज रूट ओवर ऑफ थर्टी थ्री तो इन दिस वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट और अप्लाई द ब्रिच स्नेडर फार्मूला टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ द कॉर्डिलेट्रल विन द सम ऑफ द टू एंगल्स आर नोन टू आस ओके ना नाउ कमिंग टू दिस फिगर हेयर वी नोटिस दैट हेयर इज ऑल्सो स्लाइटली क्वेश्चन इज स्लाइटली रॉन्ग हेयर हेयर ऑल्सो तो हेयर दिस एंगल इज नॉट एक्चुअली एटी डिग्री इट इज नॉट एक्चुअली सिक्सटी डिग्री एंगल तो इट इज फिफ्टी डिग्री एंगल एक्चुअली एंड दिस वन इज द सेवेंटी डिग्री एंगल ओके ना तो फाइन द एरिया ऑफ द कॉर्डिलेट्रल ए बी सी डी इस कॉर्डिलेट्रल का एरिया कैलकुलेट करना है तो सबसे पहले नाउ दिस इज सिमिलर टू प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन फाइव टू थ्री टू लेंथ बट इन दिस टाइम दिस कॉर्डिलेट्रल सर कम स्क्राइबिंग अ सर्कल तो हियर वी कैन अप्लाई दिस पर्टिकुलर रिजल्ट और द इम्पॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट दैट वी ऑप्टेंड हेयर दैट रूट ओवर ऑफ ए बी सी डी दिस रिजल्ट वी कैन अप्लाई हेयर साइन थीटा रूट ओवर ऑफ ए बी सी डी दिस फॉर्मूला वी कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई to get the answer okay na so here my area will be area will be uh, a b c d taking the root of this number and then sine of theta so theta will be sum of the angle 50 plus uh, 70 degree then dividing by 2 so that will be the 60 degree so i have here sine 60 degree okay na so a b c d if i multiply i have here uh, i think we get 60 here okay na Now, if you multiply two into five into two into three, the product of this number two, five, two, and three, this will give you sixty. And sine sixty degree is nothing but root over three by two. So now here I have two root fifteen, and here I have root three by two. So these two, these two, you can cancel out. Fifteen you can write as root three into root five, and then you have again root three. So this can be written as uh, three root five, three root five. to hope all of you understand and enjoy these classes which is based on the applications of hiran's formula bsa formulas and one particular results based on bsa formula when it is circumscribing a circle okay thank you all of you to watch my channels please subscribe my channels and share my channels okay bye have a nice